I swear I am so over this freaking heat. It's even cloudy and supposedly looking like it's colder and it's still almost 100 degrees. It is almost September. It's like the middle of August. This is ridiculous. <laughs> like, I do not like the heat. I don't remember it being so hot last year. And I was, you know, about to start working again. So, you know, I was outside more and I, I just don't recall it being 100 degrees for three months straight. So anyway, that said, uh, completely unrelated, I am going to go get a trailer hitch for my car. So I was going to get a new car and trade this in, um, but they don't really have any trim models that are better and I, was, I don't really need a new car. This is a brand new car. It's only like two years old. So um, it's really good for me, this SUV. It's a Nissan Kicks and it's a zippy little car. So I want to be able to put my bike on the back without scratching the car up with the um, portable bike rack that I have been using. Um, but I want to make this into my little adventure car as well so that way I don't have to always take the van out I can just run around with the bike and some other like pedal boards and things um, so um, Since I'll be able to stay with friends more now than Being able to like just stay in the van and it's good because in the summer It's way too hot in Texas to stay in the van anywhere. So I need to have lodging privileges <laughs> So uh, as I go back and forth between the places I go, it'll be nice to start taking the car again um, I do love the van, but with gas prices and everything, the car is more, far more convenient. Um, so I am now heading about five minutes up the road to uh, AutoZone, and they have a hitch for me. I called Discount Hitch, and they charged me, or they quoted me $300 to install the hitch, and I don't recall it being that expensive when I had them put it on the uh, cargo van last year. I don't think I paid anywhere near that amount of money and they also put my bike rack together so now I have a single bike rack which I purchased which was going to go on the van and it's actually going to go on um, the car now and I'm going to keep the double bike rack on the van which is now single because I backed into a pole and snapped one of the arms off so this uh, is the same company Allen bike racks no affiliation but uh, I got the single one for $50 on Amazon like months ago and I haven't used it so it's still in the box so I'm gonna go get this trailer hitch quickly and then go take it over to Jeff's um, to have him put everything together because he's pretty handy so um, I don't need to like try to do it myself again I had a really hard time it was actually kind of triggering and traumatizing trying to put the uh, new double bike rack together because the first one did actually break on its own I sent it back to Alan they sent me a new one um, so last year, and I, I did a video of it, where I, I was very frustrated because of the limitations I have in my hands with my disability. Uh, my left hand is actually partially numb due to uh, a brutal assault, and so they ripped my shoulder and they like destroyed the nerve endings in my, my wrist. And so I'm still recovering from that and still going through acupuncture and physical therapy. Um, but because of that, I had a hard time putting the bolts together. And I was getting really upset because I should be able to do it. There's no reason I should have been injured, you know, other than uh, surviving a, an assault. So, um, and that was two and a half years ago, almost three years ago, and I still can't feel it. I mean, I, now I can move my shoulder, and you'll see in a different video, just kind of the uh, healing that I've gone through with my spine disability and my uh, injuries from the, uh, from the attack. So... Um, but that said, I'm just going to go over and get this trailer hitch right now, about three miles away, grab it, and then I uh, should be good to go. Uh, I do need to get wheel locks, so I think while I'm there I'll get some wheel locks, uh, have Jeff put that on as well, and then, yeah, then I'll be able to have my bike on the back. He totally rebuilt my whole bicycle, as you saw, and that was fantastic. So now we've got a, another uh, fork, uh, front fork that just arrived at his house, so he's going to put that on today, and so when I go to see him I will be able to see the brand new bike so now I've got two fancy bikes even though I just bought a brand new bike last week so that's pretty funny um, but I needed the new bike because you know they're going to be used for various reasons and I have various moods and so obviously I need to you know appease that so all right it is way too hot but I will go get this uh this hitch right now and uh we'll be good to go so yay. yay shiny things I'm like don't buy me flowers just buy me shiny things put them on my car. <laughs>
Yeah, because that looks bigger than my entire car. <laughs> well, that was not fun. <laughs> I went over to AutoZone and they're like, yeah, we have it. And then he brings out this gigantic, like the world's largest trailer hitch that goes on like an 18 wheeler. I was like, uh, you need to fix your website. The inventory clearly is not tagged correctly. And I build websites for a living. So I just was like judgy McJudgy judge. Um, anyway, so I'm just gonna order on Amazon. I did get wheel locks though, as you can see. So I got wheel locks, so I'm good on that. At least I can make sure my wheels don't get stolen. And then I think that's it. I'm just gonna order it to Jeff's house and uh, just, you know, get it on Tuesday. And then we can install it before I have to bring the bike back. So there we go. It's so bright outside. Why is it so bright? All right, heading home. My lunch hour is over. <laughs> So this is my um, uh, hitch for the back of my car, which my bicycle rack will now go on. So that's good. Beautiful, beautiful weather. Oh, don't want to get locked out. Yeah, so I'm just going to leave that there till Jeff gets back. And then I don't even want to attempt to lift it. I have to put it down in the garage anyway. Um, so just going out to the car. It's about 75 degrees here. It's really, really nice. Uh, no bugs. Yeah, so I'm just gonna clean out the car a little bit. Maybe just walk outside for a minute. Yeah, so there we go. So we're gonna put the hitch on the back. And then in the back of the car, I have my um, bicycle rack, which I've never put together yet. So that's gonna go right down here, under there. So hopefully it all fits and we'll work on that this week uh, to get me sorted. So yeah, anyway, all right, that's all. So this is the bicycle rack. So it's the same one that I have on Prudence, except this one is a single, which I got for $50 on Amazon uh, instead of like 200 and something. Um, so I got this at Christmas and I haven't opened it, obviously. <laughs> so we'll see if hopefully that will fit. It's a um, one and a quarter inch um, bike rack with an extender. And I think the hitch that I got is also one and a quarter inch, which is good. Yay for productivity. <laughs> so actually, I just don't want to keep using the crappy bike rack that's like scratching up my car. You can see here, there's like scratches right there. So those scratches are from the bike rack. Um, there's more scratches on the uh, outside. There's more over here, a little bit right there. Right there, if you can see it, it's not focusing. But anyway, there are scratches. My car's a little dirty. Is it working? <laughs> Is it working though? Yeah. Okay, cool. I saw the sparks flying. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Engineers at Nissan did their job, put a couple of fucking holes in the frame, and they fully boxed the frame to make it more stiff and rigid for you know, the structural fucking car. All right. So.
I appreciate it. see where I cut the zip ties, you can pull the fucking goddamn it out, and I can reuse these zip ties. <laughs> You're now so that cheap. Is one cheap motherfucker. <laughs> brain science. <laughs> Did you say brain science? Mm -hmm. <laughs> The other thing is I had to take the other one apart to send it back and I had used it so much that I couldn't undo the bolts. Everything had just been encased in mud. I don't have the technology to drill through that kind of steel. But That's fine, I can leave it down. Yeah, it's, it's best just to leave it down. Yep, all right, moment of truth. There you go. It's perfect. Cool. I dig. Oh, wait, I want to get your pretty little toes. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. A German talk? Yep, German talk. And what is it? Good and tight. <laughs> Good and tight. <laughs> <laughs> 